Chesterfield Gorge, Emerald Green, Burnt Sienna, Ivory Black, Prussian Blue, Titanium White, Cad Yellow, Naphthol Red. Let's sketch it out first though. It's gonna be a little weird. Or a little, not weird, but different. Maybe, maybe we change the uh, orientation. Because the gorge is pretty tall. And I don't, it's not, it's not that wide. So this perspective might work better. For a gorge. Let's see, let's see what happens. A little too far. Too far out there, too far out there. Okay. Getting started again. Round two. Tighten those up. Okay. Let's sketch it in. A little bit of ivory black here. Filbert brush. This is how I normally like to start with my sketches. So, uh, visualize. All right. Big trees, big trees come out here around the edge of the gorge, comes down, and then that might be too far, but we can work with that. And then on the right side, there's a line of trees back here we can put in, and there's some trees over here. They come down like that. This might be too, not wide enough, yeah. Let's see. Is that too far? Hmm. We'll figure it out. <laughs> It'll work as we go along. You shaved. I did. I did shave. I, um, uh, I don't know why. I, I kind of liked it a little better than clean shaven. Clean shaven paint by. What, what am I looking for here? Ah, this brush. Make sure I get all the oily stuff out of this one. put in distant trees. They're going to be blue with a little bit of yellow. Could probably do this with a um, ooh, there we go. fan brush, but different layers of these. darken up the bottom a little bit. Probably would use a fan brush if I was doing this. Whoops, again. Two and a half inch brush is a little aggressive for this type of thing. Little 
background. I'll move it in a little bit. A little bit darker. Just Prussian blue and emerald green. How's that look? Let's see if this is good enough. That's yeah, pretty good. side of the of the gorge here. There we go. All right, there's that right side. Now let's do a, maybe a highlight. Do I want to do a little highlight? Eh, might as well. I only need some more cad yellow if we're doing highlights like this. I should be using the one inch brush. Oh well. Let's get some magic white on there, thin it down just a little bit. left side. The left side's going to be way darker. So we get all this white that's on there. Elvis is here. Hey Elvis. How's it going? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Wiping my brush off again. I don't like this. I don't like this in here. Okay. It was bugging me. It was too light. I didn't like it. Okay, now we'll get our darker colors. And there is a rock face in here. I forgot to sketch that in. Where would that go? Mm, it's like right here. Right there. Mostly covered up by trees though. Just gotta <laughs> leave a dark space so I remember to put it in. I 
in some more there in a bit. All right, wipe this off. Probably won't use this brush anymore, at least for this part, this half. At some point, we gotta do the water, <laughs> like water effect, more than just this. But we'll figure that out when we get it, get there. All right, cad yellow fan brush. It's gonna look a little weird first, but we'll try it out. Just kind of pushing in here and there. Trying to hit the tops first. Whoops, I almost dropped my brush. starting on the side and working our way down. You can also just kind of swirl it and that helps too. Makes it look like trees. Especially down back here. Like, this is the dark side of the tree so won't be able to see too much there. More only concerned with this side here. Maybe some come out. There we go. Yeah. All right. Got those in. You can always cut in some tree limbs and stuff as well. We we'll do that just here and there. I don't know if you can see those. Probably not. It's a little small. blend them out. All right, wipe this fan brush off in the cleaner. I'm using Bristol Magic still. Uh, after this, I use soap. Uncle 60 sent me some soap, so I use that too. After I'm done cleaning, or done painting. All right, let's add in these rocks. There's rocks here, so we gotta add those in. That's going to be, let me see she's burnt sienna. That's a good rock color. Some white. That's too much white. A little bit less. There we go. Pull it down a few times. There. That's what I wanted. Mm, right here. Start pulling down. These are our rocks. Add some plants on top of them. Some plants up around. I don't really know where. Up here, maybe. Here and there.
I don't want it too bright either. Especially at the bottom. Over there. Just pulling up and down. Get the texture in first, or the base colors in. And then you add the highlights, makes it a little easier. At least I think, I don't know. I don't know what you all think. You can paint however, however you want. Whatever cheers you up, makes you happy. All right, let's get some more white paint. Love watching this kid paint. <laughs> Thanks. Almost at 6.50. Yeah. As long as it's not bots, that's all I care about. I can't stand bots. They drive me insane. They're so annoying. Oh my goodness. They're just, yeah. I think the worst ones are like, sometimes I'll get these new, they're obviously driven by that chat GPT thing. I don't know if you guys, if anybody's heard of that, but they're like, actually, they'll actually try to talk to you and then and then at some point they'll just pivot to like talking about some forex trading nonsense. I'm just like, what? Thanks for wasting my time, stupid bot. I shouldn't say stupid, but silly bots. <laughs> ruining ruining the internet. I think it's way worse on Twitter too. Or not Twitter. I mean Twitter might be bad, but I don't have too bad a problem on Twitter, but Instagram, that's the bad one. You get some really annoying bots there. There we go. Let me pull this out a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more highlight there. Right here. Oh, I can't see it. A little bit more here. Just going to pull it. There we go. There we go. That's a nice little... Nice little highlight. And pull down here. Oops, messed him up there, but you can touch him up. That's fine. There. There we go. There's our rocks. I think those look rocky enough. What do you think? I say that and I just keep messing with it. I'll stop messing with it. Okay. Alright. No bots here, yeah. They never, well, sometimes they show up for the live streams, but usually the live streams are without the bots, which is nice. That's why I like doing live streams. <laughs> Normally real people. Every now and again we get those weird, the weird bots, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the weird bots. You know. But for the most part, it's just cool people. So hanging out, talking about painting. That's, that's all we need. All right, let's put some on the top. There we go. We're just adding some plants up here on the top. Maybe, maybe one comes down. Ooh. This is all just fan brush. And nothing. This one goes. Let's just mush them all the way down. Like that. And then some back here. There are some down at the bottom. I can't remember though. We do have to pull this down though. Let's get the other brush for that. Let's get the bigger brush. Bigger brush, I feel like, does better uh, reflections. Let's 
see how we go about doing that. Should have done it earlier, but it's not too hard to add in after. Especially when our river this big. Wipe off this brush again. Hopefully last time. All right, let's put in the uh, let's put in the water. Normally you do this first. But the... Fan brush, just pulling right to left, left to right. I get careful as we go further back so we don't pick up that green. Although we can pick it up, uh, not the green, the yellow, sorry. Doesn't matter too much. And I'll just shake it left and right. first but I didn't that's okay I'm gonna do the back real quick what do I need my back I mean this back right here put in some shorey shorey-ish line Side of this breath. Not sure where that came from. Burnt sand all over my hands. Oof. I don't know what brush that's from. Oh well. Sometimes you just get covered in paint. Can't explain it. Alright, white. So whatever Prussian blue was left in that. Start motion. It's okay if we have some dark in here too. I don't want to make it look better. blend. I just mean push in with a semi-clean brush. We're not trying to make a rapids here either, so it looks kind of like rapids right now, so I'm trying to smooth that out a little bit. here and there, especially around the shore. There's just titanium white. 
very little blue in there. Something down here. There we go. All right. I have paint all over everything here. What's going on? It's all over everything. All right. Make sure it's not on there. What else do we need? I kind of want to put some. This is too much space. Too much space here. Too much space. Let's just put something there. Scrape off this blue first. Blue and the white. I don't know. Just too much space. I need some uh, less space there. Less open space. Grab green. Lots of green. Need as much green as I can possibly fit in this brush. thinking ahead. Green on the script liner. Maybe some oil. Actually oil would probably be good. If we're gonna be going over top of stuff. It's good to use a thinner paint. What's the rule? Thin paint sticks to thick paint. Script liner. Green. A lot of oil. I'm just going to start throwing in branches here. Maybe up here. Yeah. Could use the uh, power knife here too. Probably better than the script liner, but I don't know. I just like to use a script liner for big trees. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I do. Just because it makes the edge more, because uh, I have less control over it, so the edge gets kind of wild. That's what I like. All right, we're just making a big tree here. I don't know if I said that. Big tree hanging out on the side. Side of the painting, big tree. All right. I don't think I'm gonna put any, uh, maybe I'll put a couple leaves on them. But... For the most part, he's just gonna be, maybe he goes off the side. Come back in up here. I don't know. There. There's our big tree. What's it called? Bravery test, yeah. It's our bravery test. All right, wipe this off. Spots in my paintings, I'll just throw something in them. It's, it's good practice and I just don't like having big empty spaces. Let's see. Yeah, there's blue and white in there already. That's fine. Fan brush. I'm just going to use up the rest of this. Just tapping with the... Uh, fan brush here along these 
branches. There we go. And I'll push in some down here too. There we go. And then try to wipe some off on the palette first and then just go into the yellow. Just a little bit though, here and there, down here too. There, I think that's okay. Good enough. Uh oh, did my stream freeze? Oh no, it did, no it didn't, did it? No, it didn't freeze. I was freaking out. It was just frozen on my iPad. Hopefully I didn't miss any chats. Okay. What a bug-filled stream we've had today. Lots of... Lots of crazy problems. All right, let's just uh, sign it here and call it a day. All right, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the stream today. If you've tuned into the stream a long time ago, we used to have lots and lot, a lot of problems, but I think we worked through them, but. Yeah, for whatever reason today it's acting up and being wonky. Not cool. Alright. Let's put the date on here real quick. Two, three. Getting better at the threes. Karen's late to the party. Just as we're about to wrap it up. Oh. All right, this is our Massachusetts one. Uh, I already forgot the name. Chester.